Hello, students. Uh, just making a little video here um, to help with the Smart Music Online, and hopefully this will answer any questions that you have and help with using the, the Smart Music uh, website. If you still have questions, post them on Google Classroom under this video post, email them to me. I'm happy to answer them, but hopefully this will this will help a lot and make it much easier to use. So the first thing I'm going to do here, and I'm going to move fast because i got to stay under 10 minutes here for my video. Um, go here to smartmusic.com. Click log in. Okay. It's going to ask you which one you want. We want this one on the left, new smart music. And I'm using, I set up an account so that I could see what students see. And I've, all right logged in as a student here because I want to be able to see what you guys see as the assignments. All right, so, all right, there's my student account. Okay, I get in the window and over here, there's some late assignments. There's some of the extra credit things that we were doing. My pending assignments and over here are the new ones uh, that I have uploaded just today. All right, recently opened from where I was in my account just a second ago. If I click on this button right here, I can see all of my assignments all at once. All right. And this is the one, the most recent. I'm going to go with this one here, this uh, sixth grade, fourth period. Let's start over here with classical era. We'll try to get to them both. I'm going to do complete assignment. I didn't click. Here we go. And I'm going to choose violin two for this one. All right, I'm going to click OK. And there's your instructions for the assignment. I'm going to give you the instructions. You need to get at least for this first one, uh, a 70% on this first assignment. And with each assignment that we do um, in the future, I will let you know what I'm looking for, what the criteria is for passing. So this is a one point grade, uh, which I wrote there under the uh, rubric in sixth grade. It's gonna count as a one point test grade and it's all or nothing. So you must get 70% on the smart music assessment to earn the point, all right? And there will be no late assignments because everybody has to be keeping up with their practice um, and everybody has to meet this criteria by a certain date to make sure that we're all ready to perform for the concert. So 70%. And for this first one, um, it's by October the 15th. Okay. All right. So I'm going to click close here. And let's go through some of these options here on the window. The metronome is here. This is where I can turn my part on and off. Okay. Um, and I can actually record in any of these windows to submit it. There's the thing tracks and the tracks option is where I see my part and metronome. And then over here, my takes. Let's go over here to assessment because there's lots of things here. Now, over here, calibrate mic. I think this is where a lot of people are, uh, their Chromebooks are not working because the mic doesn't get calibrated. So if I click on this calibrate mic and then it says, Make sure you follow the instructions on the screen here. Unplug your headphones, turn the volume on. Okay, if the volume is down here, okay, volume's gotta be up because that is connected to your microphone on the Chromebook. So let me test the mic. It does the mic test. Waiting for it to go here. So it's just, okay, it says start practicing. Okay, and then we're ready to go. There is also a built-in tuner here on smart music so and i'm going to do this on violin here today so i'm just let me okay, so that one's in tune it's glowing green i'm good to go here's my d string it's good to go that's fine good. all right and there all my strings are are in tune where a lot of students get confused or don't understand the tuning is they'll go to tune. Mm. 
And you'll see something like this where it says A flat in this case, or maybe it says G sharp on another tuner. It's green. It's right there at the top. It's in the middle. Okay. The needle is where it's supposed to be. But what I don't have is I don't have the pitch that I need. I need it to be an A, not an A flat. All right. So all of our string names are naturals. There shouldn't be any flats or sharps next to them when I go to tune. Same thing here. Here I go in the opposite direction. See, the needle is getting to where it needs to be, but it's the wrong note. So now I'm all in tune. I'm just going to scroll down here and I'm done. Okay. Here's the tuner. If I need to see the instructions again, I can see those here. All right. So, and over here is the tempo for this first assessment. The tempo has to be at least 90. You can do it up. Okay. As high as you want to go. No point in going higher than 116 because that's the ultimate goal tempo of our piece. But look, if I go below 90, then this little, uh, exclamation point pops up right here. All right, and it's going to give me the warning that says your current tempo 88, your current tempo is 88 and should be at least 90. Your takes will not qualify for assessment. Okay, so make sure, you know, for this to count, it's got to be 70% accurate at at least 90 for the tempo. All right, now we're going to talk about practicing in a second. I can say continue with recording. Let's just go ahead and hit cancel here. I'm going to get it back up to 90. And well, let's just go ahead and try a take and see what happens while I'm here under assessment. So I'm going to hit the record button. And I'm going to get ready to play. It's going to stop and it's going to give me my score up here. So I got a 90% on that. All right. So if I want to, I can go ahead, I could hit submit and I would be done with the classical error with this assignment. Okay. Now, students have asked about extra credit in the past, and I know that some of you want to do more. I will give you one point on this test or another. Um, if you can get 90% at 100, okay without the metronome going, because for this assessment, you can have the metronome going. Uh, totally fine as far as the minimum you know, requirements to, to get the test grade. But if you want to do the, uh, something extra, you can bump this up to 100, go over here to tracks, turn the metronome off, okay, all right, and try to get it at 100% for the sake of time. I'm not going to do that right now. What I do want to show you is a feature. I'm going to cut the metronome back on, and I'm going to turn this back down to here. I want to go a little slow because I missed this note and I missed this note. I hit two strings over here. My favorite feature on smart music is the loop feature. So I hit the loop there. And I'm going to drag this over so that it will loop these three measures. And I'm going to slow it down a little bit just for practice. And I'm going to hit this play button. I'm not recording all right, to submit anything. Oh, and I'm going to turn my part on here since, um, since this is just for practice. And this is really great for practice to you know do this if i wanted to maybe scoot this over and i could have these